This is your fault. You, you drove this bad. Taste of blood. It's murder. Was it worth it? This is your fault. You you chose this path. <laughs> chose this path. This is your fault. You, you chose this path. Taste of blood. It's murder. Was it worth it? This is your fault. You you chose this path. Taste of blood. It's murder. Was it worth it? This is your fault. You you chose this path. Taste of blood. It's murder. Was it worth it? This is your fault. You you chose this path. going on everybody it's Mr. HD here we are back with build drift to kill it uh, I apologize for the lack of videos this week guys um, I was transitioning to a new PC I did finally finish my new PC um, it's all done all built and uh, I was having some Sony Vegas issues where I couldn't uh, import mp3s um, but it's all fixed now um, at 446 in the morning <laughs> Uh, I can see the sun coming up, and I have to get this commentary real quick, and I want to see how fast this video renders now. Anyway, this is the, I'm not, 1978, I believe, Mustang, King Cobra, and the reason I picked this car was because it looks ridiculous. Um, if you see it in the, um, in the car dealership, it, it looks like a monster truck. It uh, has some goofy uh, vinyls on it, or decals, or however you like to pronounce it. Uh, goofy wheels, the thing just looks goofy. And I'm saying to myself, like, it's a Mustang. I've seen every sort of Mustang drift, except for this one, and I'm wondering why, and I tried it out, and I still don't see why people don't use this car. Um, the only real issue to me that I found while on this Fujimi Kaido was that I believe the front uh, tires don't match the rear tires in the way that you can't get them wide enough as to the car where the car feels balanced. I'm running a full 305 on the rear here and it doesn't feel right to me. It feels like the rear has way too much grip and it's not as balanced. So you guys, if you're making, if you bleh, if you feel like making one yourself, please just try and not use the full width in the rear tires. I know that kind of sounds crazy because I use full widths uh, in the rear usually for every build, but uh, I can only run 255s in the front and 305s in the rear and that really is a huge difference. And uh, you can see sometimes, especially to my ladder runs where the tires are warmed up and they're a little bit hotter and getting a little bit more grip, I have a really hard time um, transferring, mostly because the rear just doesn't want to slide. You can try to change that through tuning, like make your rear end a bit stiffer, uh, but I think just changing the, uh, changing the 
rear tire width would be a better solution. Um, I just want to say thank you to Renard under the pseudonym Mayhem for this week's song, which was It's Murder. Uh, it wasn't actually sent in to me. Uh, I am a fan of Renard. Uh, if you want to go check out his stuff, I'll put his YouTube link and the link to his website below. Just wanted to get that in before I get back into another thing. Uh, as you can tell, it's quarter to five in the morning. Um, this car has really weird gear ratios, and I don't know why. Um, it seemed like really super high gear ratios. Like, I was almost at a 3.0 final drive, and it didn't seem right. It still seemed like uh, the gear ratios were lacking, um, that they were still really high gears, but uh, it ended up working for me. I tried it on Mugello after this, and it worked fine. Um, so, I don't know, maybe it was just a little bit weird, but you, it's, I feel like I should maybe make my gears a little bit longer um, than they were. So other than that, it feels like, you know, how you'd expect a Mustang to feel. It feels like the 95 Mustang. Um, there's nothing really wrong with it other than that rear grip problem, which you I just spun out. You can kind of see the problem there. But it's a very solid chassis. Um, something used to freak out people. Like, oh, man, King Cobra, what the fuck's that? Um, and it takes that shitty-looking car um, and the monster truck ride height and lowers it, slams it down, and it makes it handle and perform the way a Mustang was meant to be. So thank you guys for watching. I apologize. This is kind of a shitty commentary, but you know, I wanted to give you guys something this week because I was you know, having a hard time transitioning to my new PC, but it's here now. It's all done. And so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.